Today at the Fort Scott National Cemetery, community members came together to recognize and remember men and women who have served our country. Those who attended were separated into four groups and each group was assigned a soldier to research. For one woman, one grave in particular stands out. Anthony Saviello has that story. His name is Clarence. Clarence Rhodes, he went by Leon. Clarence Leon Rhodes served in Vietnam. His memory is carried on through his daughter, Angie. I grew up in Colorado Springs because my dad was in the Air Force and I saw his sacrifice. Um, and when he left, he joined the Army Reserves and moved back home to take care of his family. So just seeing that sense of honor and protection was really instilled with me at a young age. Now Angie is joining in with fellow members of the community to carry on the memories of other veterans buried at the Fort Scott National Cemetery. What was really kind of exciting is that when you're out and you're exploring the site, the number of questions that are actually created rather than answered. So it brings that sense of inquiry and wonder. And, you know, if that happens to adults or teachers, I, I'm excited about what that could do for our students. Angie, like most of those who are out at the cemetery, is a teacher. Now she plans to take what she learned and pay it forward to her own students. We've never brought our students out to experience the National Cemetery as part of their education. So I wanted to see what kind of activities we could use to bring our kids out. An extra teaching opportunity that could expand the knowledge of her students. But it's also another reason to visit Dad. Reporting in Fort Scott, Anthony Saviello, KOAM News. Fort Scott National Cemetery is open to the public every day from dawn to dusk.